students so here today we are with a another video that was demanded and the video is on the spin crossover in the transition metal complexes the spin crossover is also known as the spin transition or spin equilibrium all the things are same what is mean by it as from the name we can understand there is a transition of spin it means that spin of the complex is being changed it may be low spin and then it may be changed to high spin so such a transition from low spin state to high spin state or a high spin state to low spin state is known as the spin crossover and it is done by the external stimuli like temperature pressure etc so such a transition is known as the spin crossover as we know in the transition metal complexes there are two types of complexes one is low spin complex and another is high spin complex and low spin complexes are formed when the crystal field splitting is very much high as compared to pairing energy del o is very high as compared to p and then this gap between these two levels the eg level and t2g level will be very much high so the electrons need much energy to jump into this level and the energy required for pairing will be lesser so electron will tends to pair up in this t2g level so such type of complexes are called low spin complexes because here the spin is low it means the magnetic susceptibility or the magnetic moment will be low in these complexes while the high spin complexes are formed when the value of del o is lower as compared to the pairing energy so this gap is smaller as compared to the energy required for pairing so the electron will jump into eg level so the complex that is obtained will have much spin number will be higher so such a complex is called high spin complex and in this complex as the number of unpaired spin is high so the magnetic susceptibility of such complex will be higher or magnetic moment will be higher in such complexes but let's see the case of the complexes of d4 to t7 configuration in these cases the value of del o and p are sub, are nearly equal there is not much gap between them and this gap can be easily covered by the thermal energy that is equal to kt it means if we provide temperature this gap can be covered so the spin state of the complex can be changed by the external stimuli like by varying the temperature or by the pressure or by photo irradiation it means by exposure to the light or by the influence of the magnetic field so such a transition in the spin state it means the high spin state to low spin state or from the low spin state to high spin state both the states exist coexist both the states coexist at the same time such a transition is called the spin crossover so we can understand it with the help of the diagram this is the diagram and here we can see this is the high spin state and this is the low spin state in the high spin state this gap is very small del o is small so all the spins are unpaired the electrons will firstly jump into eg level so we get a high spin complex in which the number of unpaired electrons is high and when this gap between the two levels increases the electron will not jump into this level they will tends to pair up in the lower level so we get the low spin complex or a complex with less number of the unpaired electrons so here this del o is smaller and here del o is larger but at a point this gap is very small the energy gap between the pairing energy and del o is smaller so there occurs a transition this line indicates the state of transition or the state of the spin crossover so spin crossover is more common in the d5 d6 and d7 complexes that example of d5 is the fe third complex in these complex the low spin state will have five electrons in t2g level and it will be denoted by the term 2t2g while the high spin state will have three electrons in t2g level and two electrons in eg level and it will be denoted the ground state term here will be 6a1g 
the example of D6 are AP second and CO third. In these cases, the low spin complex will have 6 electrons in T2G level and the ground state term will be 1A1G. While the high spin complex will have 4 electrons in T2G level and 2 electrons in EG level and the ground state term will be 5T2G. The example of D7 is CO second complex and in this the low spin complex will have 6 electron in T2G level and 1 electron in EG and the ground state term will be 2EG. While the high spin complex will have 5 electrons in T2G and 2 electrons in EG level and the ground state term here will be 4T1G. And the most common type of example of this is the Fe second complex Fe plus 2 state T6 state. In this state if we consider this Fe second it can make two types of compound. One compound is like that, FeH2 whole 6 plus 2. This is a high spin complex. It means it will have the higher number of the unpaired electrons. So it is paramagnetic because here the value of S is equal to 2. While another complex that it forms is FeCN6 minus 4. Here this is a strong field again. So here the splitting will be higher. So it forms a low spin complex and that complex will be diamagnetic because there is no unpaired electron and S value will be here 0. So this is paramagnetic and this is diamagnetic. The spin crossover, the spin transition can be easily understood with the help of the tanabe sugano diagram. And here this is the tanabe sugano diagram for the D6 configuration. And in this, in this diagram we can see that at the low field strength when the value of the row is very small then this 5T2G is the ground state term and this denotes the high spin state. It means at the low field strength the high spin state is in the dominance. Now when the field strength is increased this the amount of this ground state terms decreases and at a particular level this 1A1G term becomes dominant. It means this 1A1G is the now ground state term and this is for the low spin state. This is for the low spin state. This is at the high field strength. But at a point, you can see this is the point where the energy distance between these two becomes very small and at the point it vanishes. The energy distance between these two is negligible and a transition from the low spin state to high spin state or from the high spin state to low spin state can occur. So this is the point of the spin crossover and the degree to which each state will exit will depend on the temperature because this difference del O minus P will be equal to K2 so it is a function of T. So with the temperature this spin transition takes place and as we increase the temperature, an increase in temperature will increase in the population of high spin state. It means with increasing the temperature, the high spin state will be in the preference. Or we can say that the magnetic susceptibility will increase. While a decrease in the temperature will increase in the population of low spin state. It means the number of unpaired electrons will decrease and the magnetic susceptibility of the complex will also decrease with the decreasing of the temperature. An interesting example of the spin crossover is the complex Fe phenanthrene whole twice and Cs whole twice. Now if we see a graph for this complex between the magnetic moment and temperature, this will be look like this. And from this graph we can see that firstly at this temperature when the temperature is high then the magnetic moment is near 5 between 4 to 5 and this belongs to the 4 unpaired electrons. This shows that there are 4 unpaired electrons it means it denotes the high spin state. But as the temperature is decreased and it comes to the it approaches to the 175 Kelvin there is a sudden drop in the magnetic moment and the magnetic moment approaches to this value 1. It means the complex comes to the low spin state. So in this complex at the 174 Kelvin, near 174 Kelvin, there occurs the spin crossover. 
spin state equilibrium or the spin crossover is not possible in the 3D8 configuration octahedral case. However, in some nickel second complexes, it is observed and it is observed due to the distortion of the regular geometry. When the regular geometry is distorted, then the nickel second complexes can show the spin crossover. And there will be two spin states, one with the S is equal to 0 and another with the S is equal to 1 that will be in the equilibrium. If we talk of the tetrahedral complexes, in that cases, we know that the crystal field splitting energy is much smaller as compared to the pairing energy. So, electron will tend to go into the higher level. So, high spin complexes are observed in that cases. So, here the spin crossover is generally not seen. The spin crossover is most common in the 3D series. If we talk of the 4D and 5D series, in that cases, the value of tello is much higher as compared to the pairing energy. So, electrons will tend to pair up and we get the low spin complexes. So, in these cases, the spin crossover is not observed. It is observed only in the 3D series and especially in the D5, D6 and D7 complexes. The spin crossover can be understood with the help of the spin transition curves. In these curves, the temperature is plotted against the high spin mole fraction and there are three different types of curves. The first type of curve is continuous. It means here the spin transition occurs smoothly with no or little hysteresis and it occurs over a very wide range of temperature. It means the temperature range may be of 100 100 degree Kelvin. The temperature may be in the hundreds of Kelvin. And in this color, if we see the graph for this type of curve, we can see this is the high spin state and this is the low spin state. And the transition from here to here occurs very smoothly and over a very wide range of temperature. It means it occurs very slowly. Another type of curve is the abrupt curve in which the transition occurs with the hysteresis and it occurs in a very narrow range of the temperature. Temperature range is very narrow here. So this graph will be like this. Here this is the transition from high spin state to low spin state and here the transition is from the low spin state to high spin state. So it occurs in a very small range of temperature and it occurs with the hysteresis. The third type of curve is the two-step transition. It means that transition from high spin state to low spin state occurs in the two different steps. It means it will be stepwise. This is the first step and this is the second step. So this is all about the spin crossover. Thank you.